Hi guys, welcome back to the JPM Performance Channel. Today I want to talk about what you're looking for in a dyno. Not just a dyno um, facility, but also um, the equipment that they may or may not have. Um, I'm, I'm always surprised, I kind of travel all over the country going to different dyno facilities um, and it always amazes me some of the things that some of them are lacking. So. Here at JPM we have a DynoJet 224 that is buried into the concrete which makes it very easy to work on the car while you're on the dyno. A lot of dyno facilities will have their dyno um, elevated and you'll be up on a lift which is fine. I mean you can get under the car easily but it's kind of hard to be working on the engine compartment um, when you're up high sometimes it can be a little dangerous. You have to be very careful about that. But what I wanted to kind of go over today was how I like to strap cars down on the dyno and some of the equipment that all good dynos should have. It, it, like I said, it really amazes me how often uh, I go to these different dyno shops and they're lacking simple things like a good fan to cool the engine. So a lot of race cars don't have cooling fans and not only that, a cooling fan on your radiator is never going to simulate what you're going to see on the racetrack as far as the amount of air coming through the nose to cool your oil cooler and your uh, radiator. So what I want to do is take a quick walk around, show you the way I kind of do things here at JPM and uh, some of the different tips and tricks that I've got. We'll start with what I consider to be as, as many dyno shops as I've been to, this is overlooked dramatically. A proper cooling fan. Now this fan is uh, my favorite. It's an Air Fox. There's the model number. Give you some of the specs on it here. This thing will cool the car. Um, you can see that I've got it back from the car a couple of feet. That's because this fan works so well it's like being on the racetrack. That's how much air it pushes. So many shops that I go to you'll see nothing but a big fan, you know, like one of those big four foot fans. Well, that's fine for maybe pushing some air around the car, but it's not going to cool the engine off. You know, most of these cars, we don't have cooling fans on them. You can see on this one, there's no, no radiator fan. You don't really need a radiator fan when you're on the racetrack. And like I said, even if I did have a radiator fan on there, it couldn't keep this engine cool on the dyno. So number one, get a really good fan. That is really, really important. Um, I like to have this secondary screen so you can get a really good look at what's going on. Now, part of the reason why I have this is for spectators because when I'm tuning, if I have someone else driving the car, I'm sitting here and I'm looking at this small screen while I'm tuning. So part of it is getting people stop, stopping people from looking over my shoulder. They have their own screen down there. The other thing that you should be, that all dyno shops should automatically have, is hearing protection. Look, I've got four, one, two, three here, and this is the pair that I always use. Hearing protection of some sort. So many dyno shops don't even have hearing protection. Blows my mind. And um, so that's really important as well. Now, one of the other things that's really interesting about a chassis dyno is you can actually see what the horsepower is at the wheels. However, depending on how you tie a car down, you can actually change that quite a bit. Now, you can see here, I have this car tied down to the lower control arm. Why do I have it tied down to the lower control arm instead of this, what appears to be a handy dandy hook right here, which all Miatas have? When you hook here, you're actually pulling the chassis down and you're actually putting extra pressure on these tires. And I've had, uh, I've seen some tires get overheated on the dyno. When tires get hot, that can really vary the horsepower number. So I always try to tie down as close to the wheel on the lower control arm as possible, if it's possible. And that works really good, especially on a Miata. Now what we have here is an air fuel ratio setup. So this particular one that I'm using today goes into the tailpipe and you need to make sure that that gets into the tailpipe a couple of feet. Uh, it, it actually works really really well. 
if you do have a bung in your exhaust system, you can remove this sensor from here and install this directly into your exhaust as well. But make sure your dyno facility has a way to read air fuel ratio. Very, very important for tuning. So on the front of the car, you can tie it down any way you'd like. Now, a lot of Miatas have the stock hooks in the front. This one does not have it. You can see this car doesn't even have uh, bodywork on it right now. But it's absolutely okay to go through a spoke on a wheel. It will not hurt the car, it will not hurt the wheel, it will not hurt the suspension. It's a really good way to tie that down. Um, so, the other thing that is also often overlooked is evacuation of the fumes. So you can see here, I have two extremely large fans which will suck the air from the front of the shop out through the back. Now I obviously have this dyno area sealed off from the shop. This is one of those uh, freezer doors which works really good to keep not only the temperature in there and out of here but also to keep the fumes out of the main part of the shop. So in my mind this is what you're looking for in a dyno facility. Not only that, you also need to figure out if they have the capability and know-how to tune your car. So this car is currently running a Haltech Elite 1500, which is working really good. And uh, I can sit in the car and tune right here because I'm here by myself today. So just some tips and tricks on the way I see things on a dyno facility. It makes no sense to me at all for some of these shops to not have this stuff. Kind of blows my mind how some of them don't. But um, here at JPM, we do because this is the way it should be done. So, hope you guys enjoyed the quick tour of the dyno facility. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get this car tuned and rocking and rolling. So pay attention and uh, get ready to see that video next. So, hope you guys are doing well. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Click on that bell in the corner so you get notifications when I post up new videos. Appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, feel free to always comment. Uh, hope you guys are doing great, and we'll see you next time.